The highly anticipated bout between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson has a new date. It was originally scheduled for July 20th, but was postponed because of a Mike Tyson medical emergency. Tyson had an ulcer flare-up a few weeks ago when he was on a plane heading from Miami to LA. The fight was originally scheduled to take place at AT&T Stadium, home of the Cowboys. Because they can no longer fight on July 20th, it was reported last Friday that the new date would be on November 15th. According to Jake Paul's boxing promotions, MVP promotions, they thought it was the best date for both parties, even though the new date is on a Friday. They had to schedule it on a Friday because the Cowboys have a home game that Monday and need time to set up. Mike Tyson will be 58 in November, 31 years older than his opponent, Jake Paul. They also announced that the rematch between Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano for the undisputed super lightweight championship will be moved to that date as well. The Taylor and Serrano fight will be the co-main event. Tyson has a record of 50 and 6 with 44 knockouts, while Jake Paul is 9 and 1 and 6 knockouts. The fight will be a professional bout. The fight will also have eight two-minute rounds and 14-ounce gloves rather than the typical 11-ounce gloves. Paul vs. Tyson will be streamed on Netflix. Jake Paul is not going to wait to fight Mike Tyson next. It was reported that Paul will still fight Tyson on November 15th, but he also announced that he will still fight on July 20th as well. Paul announced that he'll be fighting bare knuckled fighting champion Mike Perry on July 20th in Tampa, Florida. It will be an eight round bout and the fight will be fought at Cruiserweight. The bout will be available on DAZN via pay-per-view. The Paul vs. Tyson fight was delayed because of a medical emergency to Mike Tyson who had an ulcer flare-up a month ago while he was on a plane from Miami to Los Angeles. The fight was delayed from July 20th to November 15th. The bout will still be fought at heavyweight and will be available on Netflix. The fight will also take place at AT&T Stadium, home of the Cowboys. For the other fight, Perry is nicknamed Platinum and has a record of 5-0 in the Bear Knuckle Fighting Championship or BKFC for short. Perry used to fight in the UFC and had a 14-8 record in his professional MMA career. In the past, he has also boxed and lost to Kenneth McNeil via knockout back in 2015. For Jake Paul, he has been boxing since 2020 and has a record of 9-1 with wins over Tyron Woodley, Anderson Silva, and Nate Diaz. His only loss came to Tommy Fury, the half-brother to former heavyweight champion Tyson Fury via a split decision. After the announcement was official, Paul released a statement saying this. When Paul vs. Tyson was rescheduled, I knew immediately that I wanted to still fight on Saturday, July 20th. Now, as I prepare for my fight against Iron Mike, there's no better opponent for me than Mike Perry. He is a proven knockout artist who has shown to be a maniac in and out of the ring. This is the perfect experience for me to gain in advance of facing Mike Tyson. But getting that experience comes with risk. Those who know me know I'm a risk taker, and while Platinum Perry might try to end me, I'm Titanium Jake Paul, and I fear no man. The fight is being billed as fear no man. Both fighters released statements after it became official. Paul said this about Mike Perry. I'm going to get the dub, and I give everyone a preview of what I'm bringing to the ring against Mike Tyson. Tune in on to Zone pay-per-view as I return to Tampa and send Platinum Perry, the platypus, back to bare knuckle for good. Perry's statement was this, Jake Paul claims he fears no man, but on Saturday, July 20th, the world will see the truth. He just made the worst mistake of his life to get through me before Iron Mike. I'm going to teach Jake Paul the most he's ever learned about fighting. When the year started, Jake Paul's goal was to fight three or four times in 2024. His goal will be accomplished after he fights Mike Tyson on November 15th, as he has already fought once this year and knocked out Ryan Borland back in March. On the other hand, Paul's last event was back in April when he knocked out Tiago Alvarez in the first round. For the co-main event, it will be Amanda Serrano fighting Stevie Morgan in a 10-round junior welterweight bout. Serrano will still fight in November against Katie Taylor as well for the undisputed super lightweight championship. It was also delayed from July until November. According to MVP Promotions, which is the promotion that Jake Paul runs, he released another fight on the card. One of the bouts will be featured two amateur lightweight prospects, Tony Algier, who is 12-0-1 with four knockouts versus Corey Marksman, who is 9-0-1 with seven knockouts. The fight will be streamed on the zone via pay-per-view. Let me know in the comments what you think, and as always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already.
Thank you.